Hello everyone, how are you all doing? It is Thursday. Well, actually, it's Wednesday evening. I'm pre-recording. <laughs> this is Tammy from Tater Tots Nursery. I want to welcome you all here. And I don't know if any of you are new, maybe for the first time. If you would please maybe hit that like button, um, hit the subscribe button. The little bell will let you know anytime I do a video. A video. And oh, for a while now, I've been doing two or three a week. Um, I've cut down a little bit. Maybe this winter I'll be back more active. Um, there's just been a lot going on, guys. I pray for all of you every day. And I just, you know, I, I wish you all well. I really do. Um, I've been thinking about this, and I think today I'm going to introduce you to my babies in my collection right now and tell you how they got their names. Now, guys, I went to Walmart this morning and got groceries, and I decided I was going to finish dressing the babies in these outfits. These are actually from Walmart. They're Bambi and Thumper outfits, and I absolutely love them. They're so cute. And the sleepers, I think, were like $10 and change. Um, the little onesies come three to a pack. I think they're $12.98. The pants come three to a pack. They're $12.98. So, you know, it's taken me two or three visits to um, get all the kiddos dressed. And I actually have a baby coming one of these days um her artist has been very very busy she's a prototype artist in brazil and um she's just now getting ready or getting around to doing a doll for a friend of mine and um anyway my doll is in the books and she it's a girl she will be three to six months and i won't tell you the sculpt that's a surprise but i even got her a sleeper today so um, I just thought it would be fun to dress them all alike. And we will start with the tiniest. This is the Delilah sculpt. She's by Nikki Johnson. And she was done by Betsy Thomas of Beautiful Babies by Betsy. Betsy's in Florida. She lives really close to my dad. And I've had her do several dolls for me over the last few years. I really like her. We've gotten to be very good friends. And she is an excellent artist, guys. But um, Delilah, of course, wears preemie. She's got um, rooted hair. Well, it's combi hair. Combi hair. And it is in yearling alpaca. Kind of a brown with rooted eyelashes. And she's beautiful. At least I think she is. She was born on my mom's 97th birthday. My mom passed away on um, December 13th, 2011, and her birthday was November 1st. So Nancy was born on November 1st, 2013. And, or 2020, hold on, 2021. Did I say, if I said 2013 before, I meant 2021. I'm sorry, guys. Um, she is named for my mom, for both of my great-grandmothers on my mother's side, and her middle name is Ellen. She is named for my mother's uh, middle name that I love. I love the name Ellen. That's how she got her name. Um, both of my mother's grandmothers were Nancy, so... Um, it's kind of a family name, I guess. Now, we will go over to Bevan Matthew. And he is the make sculpt by Natalie Bluck. He um, was actually my last baby I received. And he come from Germany. His artist was Ina Hotman. And he has got, oh my gosh, the most beautiful hair. It is a light brown and blonde mixed texture. Um, I'll bring him up closer. He is zero to three months. 
I think he's like 21, 22 inches. I love his hair. And guys, I apologize. It has been dark and gloomy and rainy all day. And now it's evening, so it's getting dark. But um, his hair is beautiful. He's got rooted lashes. And his painting is beautiful. He looks pretty real. He's got uh, the German, lush, how do you say that? Whatever it is, the German glass eyes. And they are a light blue, kind of with a greenish and gray even in them. I know you probably can't see. But he got his name. Whoops, I just messed her hair all up. A very, very special close girlfriend of mine um, that I met when I was 15. We both dated, at, well, at separate times. I dated Rodney and then... I don't know, a couple years later, Lorella met him, maybe a year, and she dated him, and we both broke up with him. He was, well, <laughs> Rodney was a rounder, and um, that's how we got to be friends, and we were inseparable pretty much up until the time, well, we've just, we were always inseparable, but we were either together cruising or we were on the phone until I got married and I, you know, I moved to Florida and um, even through the years, she got married, had children. Uh, she lived in a different town, but no matter if we went a few years and didn't see each other, we always picked right back up where we left off and her maiden name was Bevan and I thought about it. And I just thought of the name and I thought, I love that name. So Bevan is for my very special girlfriend that died about three years ago. She had a lot of health conditions, health issues. And um, Matthew is just a name that I like. Now, if we can get to Miss Sophie Elizabeth. She is the Zoe Kit by Natalie Blick. And her artist was Coco Rainbow Nurseries. She's on Reborns.com. I had never heard of her before. I took a chance with this baby. And she is beautifully painted. She's got painted hair and rooted lashes. I pierced her ears. Uh, she does have armatures. And um, if anyone is on the fence looking on Reborns.com, I would definitely recommend the uh, Coco Rainbow Nursery. She is an excellent artist. But uh, this little girl wears nine to six months and 12 month clothes. And she just got her name Sophie because I liked it. I'm not a Sophia person. I'm a Sophie person. And Elizabeth was my uh, past mother-in-law's name. Her name was Leola Elizabeth. We called her Lee. There's a lot of Elizabeths on my former husband's side of the family, as you guys know. He died at 24 in a car accident, but um, I've always been a part of the family. I've always been their sister-in-law, and I've always been their daughter-in-law. Um, some are gone now, but they're a very special family to me, and uh, I just wanted Elizabeth for my second mom. Now, we will get over to... Holland Gray, and he is the Cameron Kit by Laura Tuzio Ross. His artist was Rosanna Rotaco. She's in Brazil, and uh, she's going to do a baby for me, um, hopefully this year. If it comes next year, that's fine. Uh, like I said, I've got the deposit down, so all is good, but um, he has got the most amazing hair I've ever seen on a baby. And it's almost like our granddaughter's hair. And I think I've told you guys, they are half Navajo Indian. Their mother and her family were Navajo. And they actually come from a reservation in Greasewood, Arizona. But he is uh, a little biracial baby. And he has got the most beautiful glass eyes and eyelashes. He's got rooted eyebrows. And he still smells so good. And I've had him a little over a year, I think. Um, 
Rosanna makes a cologne and unfortunately she can't ship it from Brazil. She did tell me though that she's going to try to send me just a little bit uh, with this new doll coming because I absolutely, I, it, it's, it's a scent I've never smelled before. It's just wonderful. But getting back to Holland, Holland was actually <laughs> the last name of someone that I met when I was working in an office in Columbus. He was from Cleveland and his last name was Holland and we got very, very, very close. Um, it wasn't supposed to be that way. There were circumstances and um, things just happened and uh, we got caught up in feelings and had more feelings for each other than we should have. But his last name was Holland and that's how Mr. Holland got his name. Gray is just a name that I liked. And last but not least right now is the Elliot Sculpt by Casey Brace. Um, I named her Presley and it's P-R-E-Z-Z-L-E-I-G-H Memphis. And uh, her artist was Betsy Thomas by Beautiful Babies by Betsy. And she has got combi hair and rooted lashes. And this baby has my heart. She's beautifully painted and she is amazingly weighted. Um, everything about this baby is just real. Um, excuse me, I'm sorry. She, she feels like you have actually picked up a real baby. But um, she wears zero to three. And I should say Holland wears zero to three also. I think he's 22 inches. Um, the Zoe sculpt is 26 inches. I think Elliot was 21 inches. And Betsy had actually made him. He was not a custom. She had actually made him. Um, and I saw him as a boy. And I said, Betsy, I love this baby. I want this baby. And she said, well, I'm going to do his pictures. And if, because I usually do a layaway, a short layaway. And she said, if he doesn't sell, he's yours. And I said, okay. So she just gave it a couple days and he didn't sell. And I said, do you care to please dress Elliot as a girl? I want to see this baby as a girl. And it was funny because when she dressed her as a girl, she goes, oh my gosh. She said, she's perfect as a girl. So um, I got the Elliot sculpt as a girl. And you probably think that... I named her for Elvis Presley, and honestly, I did not. I did not, guys. I just, I love the name Presley, and I love the name Memphis. I actually, a few, a couple, three years ago, I had a Huxley, and his name was Memphis. And any of you country fans out there know that Jason Aldean and his wife, Brittany, have a son, Memphis. And I just love that name. Um, Presley is a name that I've liked for a long time. She's That name has been on my list. And um, there was a girl last December, it's been 10 months ago, that was killed in a horrible accident, car accident, only about probably three or four miles from my house. Um, I knew her aunt very, very, very well. We're, we're pretty good friends. And Presley was 15. She was with a friend of hers that had just had her driver's license for a couple weeks. And they had went to work to see if they needed any help that night. And they didn't. So um, the driver was taking Presley home. She was right at her road to turn on, um, to go home. And the girl lost control. It was not a cell phone accident. Um, they checked all that. She was not on her cell phone. She just lost control. It was in the evening. Uh, she got too far on the right side of the road and overcorrected and went left to center and a car hit them broadside. Um, the car caught fire and I know more than I 
probably should tell, so I'll just leave it at that. It was a terrible accident. And I, I like the name, so I decided I would name her for Presley. And they're all dressed in Walmart outfits. You can get them at Walmart right now. They're Disney baby. Uh, they're all ivory background. And they've got Thumper and Bambi and the little skunk. I forget what his name is. But um, there's different patterns. And I've got them in all three of the pack. These are all, well, I know. Bevan and... Um, Holland both were zero to three so that is one set and then today I got um, Sophie's because hers I actually got her a six to nine month shirt and then 12 month pants and it fit really good um, and then we've got the little thumper bunny over here that Annie Mel from Melamore Nursery sent us and we've got the little deer rattle that I just bought off of Amazon so uh, I think that kind of tells you about my crew right now. I do have the two babies for sale. If they don't sell, I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but they are out of here. Really quick, I will do the Jesus Calling Devotion by Sarah Young for September 27th. I'm going to do it for today. Relax in my everlasting arms. Your weakness is an opportunity to grow strong in awareness of my almighty presence. When your energy fails you, do not look inward and lament the lack you find there. Look to me and my sufficiency. Rejoice in my radiant riches that are abundantly available to help you. Go gently through this day, leaning on me and enjoying my presence. Thank me for your neediness which is building trust bonds between us. If you look back on your journey thus far, you can see that days of extreme weakness have been some of your most precious times. Memories of these days are richly interwoven with golden strands of my intimate presence. Guys, I hope you all have a wonderful evening and I hope your Thursday brings you good health happiness, much joy, and many blessings. We will see you all very soon. And again, um, I would really appreciate it if you're still here and you've stuck with me this long. If uh, you're not subscribed, if you would please subscribe to my channel. I'm actually starting to put a goodie box together for uh, my thousand subscribers. I still have a hundred and some to go, but uh, we can get there. So let's work on that. And I will talk to you all later. Bye, guys.